Today, I want to talk to you about how to make money with ice block business in places where there's no electricity. What you're going to do is you're going to use generator and you are still going to make your money. I'm going to tell you other ways you can, other things you can add to that to make money right after now. Welcome back. As I said earlier, I want to tell, talk to you about how to make money from ice block business in places where there is no electricity. Now, in most countries in Africa and in other parts of the world, there's no electricity is a problem. And these places are, t- are tropical areas where there is heat and there's a need for ice block and cold drinks most of the time. So what do you do? Are you going to also relax and say, okay, there's no electricity in our village, there's no, um, there's no electricity in my town, there's no electricity in my city, and everybody is waiting and looking and going far to go and buy ice block, going far to go and buy cold drinks, going far to go and buy anything cold. Now, you can be the solution provider in that community where you are. In some communities, they go away with the, with the transformer for months. For months, the, the electricity company go away with the transformer. They say they want to go and repair it, and they need to fix something on the transformer. And for months, they have not fixed those things that they said they are going to fix. Months after months. What are you going to do? You should go into ice block business and make your money instead of joining in the, in the complaining set of people. Let me do the analysis for you in this video. Number one, you can get a big generator to power your ice block machine. People will come and buy ice block from you. They will buy cold drinks from you. You will also be selling cold drinks, minerals, malt, and uh, water, and other things. Cold drinks by the side. You have your fridge where you chill your cold drinks and sell to them at retail price and wholesale prices. Then you have the main ice block that you also sell. Also, you are going to start a um, phone recharge business and laptop recharge business because you will own your gen mo- uh, day in day out so you start your recharge um, phone and laptop recharge business by the side because your light is always on so you have extensions with sockets where they can plug so for one hour it's so so amount for 30 minutes it's so so amount for two hours it's so so amount that is also by the side then you can also start cold room business whereby um People that want to keep their meat, that want to keep their fridge per day is also amount. So it will, that, that is also by the side. Then you can also start um, cold uh, fish and meat business. Drive um, fish and meat business. So you start fish and meat business. You buy the fish from the town, they bring it, you, you stock it. Since you have ice block machine, and the ice block machine is always on. You put that in, a, in the freezer by the side so you can see different just one uh, business i created other businesses for you so by the time you look at how much you're going to spend on the generator on the fuel you will have made you will still make your profit and you will make even more profit than those who are having light in the in the town because you have elaborated and your market is large everywhere around they'll be coming trooping to your place so if you are abroad you are outside of the other side of Nigeria, you are in America, you are in China, you are in England, you are anywhere in the world, in Scotland, in UK, in France, in Europe, anywhere you are, you are in South Africa, and you have family members in Nigeria, and you are thinking, what business can they do? And it's only farming they can do. No, it's not only farming. People in the village, some villages have no light, or something that happened to their light. You can start the ice block business now. During events, during uh, occasions in villages, you will see them traveling like one hour to go and buy ice block. So why can't you start the ice block business right where you are in your village? Send money to those people, set it up and let them be doing the business and they are going to, they are going to be thankful to you for it. So you can see how the business goes. They are going to recharge. There was a time I went for a, a burial of an aged um, um, grandmother at Kaba. And then one of the people we went together, the hotel we stayed, there was no light. So you see, so in the market area we passed through, Kappa Market, we, we, they were recharging the uh, phone. They were charging phone. You want to charge your phone, you pay. Then they give you a number, they put it on your phone, and then you charge your phone. Then one of us that we went together cha- was put his phone there for charging. Then, when, then later we came back, he collected the phone, and it was charged, and he paid. So you can start that kind of business with the ice block, since the generator will always be on because of the ice block machine, you start all that by the side and from the market from everywhere to be trooping to you to buy. I have a series of videos on ice block business on this YouTube channel and I've created a playlist 
called ice block playlist check out the video on how to make how to set up ice block business directly i spoke about that how to set it up from a to z it's about 20 minutes video where i spoke about it it's a direct not uh, something i just read somewhere it's something practical like this video i don't have any way i'm looking at what i'm saying from i'm saying what i'm seeing from experience so that video i elaborated where how to set it up the kind of machines you're going to use and I've, I'm, let me please tell you don't go and buy used machine don't buy used generator don't buy used ice block machine don't buy used freezer anything you want to buy don't buy used buy new one so that you will be the first to use it new things usually they have a they have the you they will stay for like three to four years before they start or five years or six years or seven years before you start having any major fault you know i've had issues with this i bought my first car it was a used car used by a company that i know somewhere i bought that used car in nigeria i use it for a while the second car that i i bought I bought it from uh, from my family. I used it for a while. I gave it out to somebody. The third car I used, it was a used car. That one showed me it was a Honda Accord automatic. The car from day one was not a good one. I was just spending on it. Eventually, I sold it. I bought the third. I bought the fourth car. That car was uh, Skoda. You know this Skoda that the part is expensive. You, you don't have uh, people that do that car, and then they have to repair it. The mechanics are few, or the parts are inside. The, if you want to lose something, you have to lose everything before you get to it. So, I spent a lot of money putting that car together. Now I sold the car when it was just every time spending on it. The engine, they said I should ring it. I did. I ring it. I do everything. Eventually, it was still smoking. The Honda that I sold too, it was also. I changed the engine. Yet it went to move a little bit to stop again. I left the car out and I went for what I'm the um, I went for a Tukumbo car that I'm using now. Since I bought that car, I'm recording this video now in January, January 12th. I record I bought that car in August. Till today, I've not gone to mechanic for any major repair. The only thing is to change the oil or any other thing I want to do. That is, it's not that the car was going to stop. Foil it and move. Foil it and move. And that was it. The water of that car, one the, the water that came with it is still the water that is that is there. It didn't that I bought it with. It didn't. The water did not go down. The other cars, you will see every every day. I have to top it. If I have to put water in my car, so that if I move from here to that place now for uh, like ten, ten minutes drive, I have to check the water and top the water. So that one was not. It's not in this one. So that's why I'm advising you. Go for new machines. I've also handled as well uh, business where we have. We went to buy used machine. In fact, I had somebody that bought used machine. I know he will bite his finger now because the technicians will just be eating you up. They'll be calling them. In fact, you know all the technicians in town. So you don't need you don't need all that. Go for new machine, new generator. Be that new generator before you call anybody to service. It will take you a long time. New generator, new ice block machine, new deep freezers. Don't go and buy used used deep freezer. I bought used used deep freezer before. They say ah, it's sound. Is this is the eventually use is used. You have used the main part of it. They just uh, repackage it and sold it. So go for new things, and you are going to be glad you did, and you are going to make your money in this business without any sweat. So I've given you the outline. Now, what kind of machines are you going to buy for ice block? Is it the one you are going to put water inside, then you are going to tie the mouth with a rope, then you are going to put it inside the ice block machine? Is that the one you should buy? I have a video that talks about how the type of ice block machine you should buy. Check the playlist on in the ice block machine, ice block, ice block business. Now there's another type of nylon that you just pour the water inside. You don't tie it. The water, the nylon will be inside the machine. You pour the water inside, inside the machine. Then it will stay. You just tilt it. It will stand on its own. You put the next one beside it. You pour the water. It will stay. You tilt it beside it. And then when it is, uh, it will stay. Once they are lying side by side, they will stay. They will stay. They will stay side by side. When somebody, something is beside it until that row is completed. You move to the next row and do that. Only you can do, can do that. But the other one, only you can also do, but it's very strenuous. You take the nylon, you take the water, you put the water inside, you do it. So I have a video that talks about that clearly. Then if you want to buy ice block machine, there's somebody in Ibadan. His name is Mr. Fem. You can check him out. I will leave his phone number in the just contact him and ask him how he can help you to get the ice block machine. And he's going to be able to help you and set it up. He will get the ice block machine for you. They will put it together in the bardon, or you can get it from where he gets the ice block machine from. You just discuss with him. Anywhere you are in Nigeria or anywhere, he's going to transport it to you and you are going to be glad you did. Now, uh, I also have a video about the best time for ice block business. 
Adblock business is a business that runs from January to December, but they are at some peak period that if you have 500 adblock, if you have if you have 100 as 1,000 adblock per day, people will buy everything. There's some peak period. I have a video about peak period. Check that video out in the playlist on Iceblock business, and you are going to be glad you did. Now, when you come to Iceblock in Nigeria, I am number one. If you want to, if you want to know that, go to your uh, YouTube search and put Ice Block Nigeria. Before you see the first two, three videos, you're going to see one or two of my videos. This is not something, I didn't work on any keyword, I didn't work on anything. This is something practical that I've, business I've done, just like the egg business, I've done those businesses myself. So I can tell you the nitty gritty and the experiences I'm sharing with you. I'm bringing real value to you. So this is I'm going to draw the curtain for now. Please, I want to subscribe to YouTube channel, watch my other videos. I have videos on cashew business, I have videos on, um, on egg business, I have video, videos on maize business, I have videos on every other business. If you want to buy maize and if you want to sell maize, contact me and i'm going to link you to people that can help you then if you want to write a business plan you want to write some proposal letter to companies for them to patronize you you want me to put letter together for you then you get it across these are some of the things that we do we have a team of experts that work contact me directly on 80 369 and i'm going to put you through it's best you contact me by wise some people call me sometimes i'm not comfortable with you, with you calling me i have a series of uh, activities i'm doing i'm a federal government worker and I, I lecture in the university so at my free time i make these videos to help you so when you are calling me sometimes maybe in the class or i'm being in a meeting and the, the way i respond you may think that i don't want to attend to you so the best bet you can do if you want to contact me is to send me a whatsapp message whatsapp message once you send a whatsapp message to my number 080 369 i'm going to respond in fact you know i may be in a meeting nobody is going to say don't check your phone i'll check my phone and i'll see it and i'll reply you whatever you need i will reply you then if there's need to talk we'll talk if there's need to link you to somebody i link you and then that is all you need and then we'll move on so i'm going to talk to you again remember if you want to write a business proposal if you want to write business letter you want to write letter to companies your customers on some things on for them to patronize your business I can help you. You want to write a business plan and you want to seek federal government loan, um, this um, COVID-19 loan or NISA bank loan, I can help you and I'll put the letter together and put everything together in detail and then you are going to get it, your customers running to you. Then if you want to advertise on my YouTube channel, the space is open for you. Just contact me and we are going to do business together. The word I'm going to prize you is going to be very, very minimal because my aim is just to help you, to help your business grow. When your business has grown, perhaps, definitely, you'll remember me. My name again is Uluk Ben Gaditun, and I'm your happy host on this YouTube channel. Today, I believe you have, you have gained value. Please, share this video with others and watch other videos on this channel. Then, this is 2022. Please, take action. Take action. Don't just be learning everything I'm saying. Take action. If it's just, just do one of the things I've been saying, just one of it. Just take action on one of it. Just take action on one of it. Then when you have taken action on that one, then come back again, take action on another one. When you have done that one, come back again and take action on another one. I'm going to talk to you some other time. Bye for now.